Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. To TGIF, folks, let's make it a great one. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you have to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there. To please the one you love without expecting anything back. Look at us. Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 43. NASDAQ up 18. S&P's down 1. Gold contract down $3.80, trading at 1462 an ounce. We have silver down 19 cents, $16.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat. $57.40 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note flat at 128.12, the 30-year off eight ticks at 156.13, and king dollar. King dollar up 222 ticks, trading 98.363. The euro is at 110, the yen is at 109.17, and the euro and the pound is at 127 to 1 the U.S. dollar. My phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so what we have out here, folks, is that you have the S&P. I'm going to put these on a weekly basis so you can see how these base bees are shaking out. The S&P right now, yeah, you get a flat market. Bottom line, though, uh, this whole week, you get all-time all highs. Cash S&P, you're going to see you get a little doji at the highs out here. We'll get up to 3,097. Low is 3,065. You're laying out here at... 3,084. NDX 100, you're going to see it's the same type of setup, and we put this on the weeklies. Uh, it's going to get kind of intriguing, actually, because th these look like they're going to be all little dojis, and little dojis, uh, bottom line, if you get a down market next week, that, that's basically a bearish signal. Um, and the NDX 100, the high out here, 82.71, low 81.57, and right now you're at 82.29. Dow Industrials, let's see what we get. The, so, S&P's went to an all-time high. The composite went to an all-time high. And the X100 went to an all-time high, as did the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Now, the Dow Industrials is the only one that is not a doji up at those highs. Bottom line, Dow Industrials did make an all-time high, though, 27774 If we go over to the Russell 2000, a whole different ballgame. The Russell 2000, uh, bottom line, just continues to be the weakest indice. The Russell 2000 had its high registered in July of 2018. And what you do have inside the Russell, though, is you get another doji up there. Uh, the, the Russell was trying to get to the 1618 mark, which would have been the high of the swing point established out here in May of 2019. Uh, bottom line, didn't make it. Uh, you know, so we'll see where that whole thing shakes out. But uh, bottom line, you know, I suspect what you're going to see out here is that you're going to see a slow turn. I mean, this market is shooken off everything. There's no two ways about that. That being said, though, guess what? It's having a hard time getting a higher price also. You know, the crawl was there. Now, gold contract. Gold uh, bottom line, it's slammed this week. We got, we take this right now, and we take a look at it the last, last few days first off. Let's do that. Okay. So, we had out here, you know, went from a price point of 15, 17, you hit 1457. You're at 16. Uh, you're at 1462. Yesterday, volume was uh, 675,000 contracts. Now, what, what gold is doing is this: 1448 is the number. Yeah. So 1448 is your breakout area. Uh, the top of that is 1481. We're at 1462. So the way that sets up, folks, is that, and then your swing point is 1465. So We'll see whether it can close over the 1465. 1465 would that would be a sweet little deal. Um, I don't expect we're going to see that coming into a close out here today, though. Um, gold hasn't uh, gold's been dead basically since the pit closed. Let's go take a look at the silver market out here, S I Z nine, and what we have inside the silver market. Silver also got slammed out here. One second. Silver's trading at a price point of $16.81. Silver also had large volume on the way down yesterday. 
And silver also going into a breakout area. This gets interesting now with silver for sure. Well, 1658, well, 1658 is game. That's the breakout area from uh, the 7th of August. If we go take a look at the GLD, so you can put the price together with the volume, and we'll bring this and we'll put this on a weekly basis. There we go. So what you're going to see here is that you come down with 45 million shares and you're going into 76 million. So the GLD would still have to get to 137.05. Uh, we've made it thus far to 137.41, but the contraction of volume is there and it's there in spades. Now, notes and bonds. Let's take a look at it. They smoked the note and bond market also this, this week. We had the note and bond market break the, I believe it's the August lows. Yeah, it's, uh, no, September 13th swing lows. So bottom line, we broke the September 13th swing, swing low. We, we put this up. Now, what's so intriguing about the note and bond market is this, folks, okay, is that what you have is this. When we came down, well, first off, the high was 132.13 in the last six months. This is on the 10-year. We came down hard and fast to 128.16, and we did that on the 13th of September. Now, that, that itself had big volume. We do a nice bounce. We get all the way back up to the price point of uh, 132. We come down. They blow apart this swing point here. We did uh, 2.49 million versus 2.6. So you did more volume. The key here is going to be this breakout area. You can get down to the breakout area for sure. The breakout area is 127.21. That is in the... 30 year now in the 10 year in the 30 year that that breakout area is much lower so you're going to need a lot more juice to get into that 30 year breakout area than in the 10 the 30 year is 15409 if we get over and we take a look at the TLT which is the 20 year bond ETF what you're going to see there we put this baby up you put this on a weekly also you're going to see in this particular case we came down with 59 million shares, and 59 is going into 89 and 69. So the bottom line, even in the, in the ETF market, uh, you can get down to 131, but it's going to need a lot more volume to break it down. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.